Hey guys, Mike here from DC. Uh, this is a follow up to my blog post this weekend where I moved my website and a couple others to a server that lives inside my living room. Um, we do have a dynamic IP address, not static, so we're, we'll show you how I take care of that. Uh, there's a DNS forwarding service called DNS Exit. Um, it's free for what we're doing here. I'll go ahead and go to my account. You can see that I have a few domains pointed here already. Here's my website, uh, my sister's, a couple of friends, and my wife. So here's how we go ahead and set that up. You go to DNS and then dynamic DNS. Click set up DNS. And what we're going to do is point our DNS servers from our domain at the DNS exit service. So set up DNS, uh, go to DNS Express. This is a website that I also own, a domain name that I would also own. So we'll click Create DNS. It's going to do a quick check and it says you're not currently using DNS name servers. So here's how we take care of that. Uh, this one's hosted at GoDaddy. So we'll go in here and click Manage on the name servers. And we're going to choose custom. We'll take the name servers from DNS exit and put them in here. So they have one through four. So that will take a little bit of time to, to process, but we'll go ahead and click Create DNS, and it's successful. So then you can click Verify. It will take about 20 seconds here, and then it'll probably tell us that it's not up to date yet, but this is the, this is the process. There's also a tool that you can download from them that will help uh, update. I have mine set to there's a process running in the background that will check every hour if my web if my IP address changes it'll update the DNS and then all of the, the web requests will still come to me um, trying to find where that is let's go ahead and check here DNS exit download here we go so on Windows, there's a standard installer package. Um, on Mac and Linux, it's a Perl script that you run, but it's not that difficult to use. I uh, pretty much just run it, and it's pretty standard from there. So that's a, they haven't updated yet, but it's a really quick and easy way to make sure that your dynamic IP address keeps pointing at the service that you want it to. Um, that's how my website is hosted right now. That's it for today, but uh, check back later and get some more tips. Thank you.